So you have different steps to building your social media platform. First is the traction. When we say traction, it is how to attract people to get to your social media platforms. So you have actually two ways of doing that. First is through content. Second is through content, I mean, and interaction and so on. And second is through going viral, okay? Now, um, and one drives the other. If you have a page that has the best content in the world but no followers, it's like you have nothing, okay? Um, I, I like to give an example to that. Let's say you have uh, Mozart in a room, in an empty room, okay, and Mozart is playing music, right? And then he can play the best music in the world, and it's, it would be like a Mozart piece, right? It's a masterpiece, but there's nobody in the room to listen to that. So it's the same with your social media, okay? If you can have the best page and the best layout and the best designs and everything, and you have no fans, it's like, it's like singing all alone with nobody hearing you. So you have to, to drive people to your page and to your platforms. How to do that? It's actually first by creating consistent content, consistent and, uh, and frequent content, okay? But frequent content doesn't mean 20 posts per day, okay? It means frequent based on how much you need as a company and what industry you are in and industry benchmarks and best practices for that kind of content. The second is through attracting uh, or driving likes to your page, for instance, on Facebook. Now, this is majorly done nowadays with Facebook ads. Facebook ads allow you, as I was saying, to, 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 to target the right audience for you, okay, and to drive likes to your page. But nowadays, Facebook have designed their model in a way so that you have to have Facebook ads. So if you go to a page, if you are an admin of a page, you will see that every single post or every single like is now uh, advertising driven. So everything you need to do, you have to promote posts or boost your page or promote your page or all of those, okay, for you to be able to, to drive traction to your page. Now, the more you have likes, okay, the more these people are going to interact with you. And the more they are going to interact with you, the more their, your content is going to be consistent. And it's, it's actually a circle where everything drives the other. So this is for traction. Then you have the expansion. Now traction obviously leads to expansion because then the more you go, you grow, the more you expand, okay? And this is going to eventually drive momentum, obviously, because then momentum will go viral because at the end of the day, when, when, for instance, when you post something, if you have 10,000 fans on Facebook and you post something, okay, and you have, let's say, 30% of the people who see it, okay, 20% uh, who interact with it, and let's say 10% who share it, this, all of this is actually what drives your post to be viral, and this is what builds moment, momentum around everything that you're posting. Now, traction could be challenging at first. You have to know that social media isn't built from one day to another. Social media takes time. It takes a lot, actually not a lot of time, but it takes before three to six months, okay? Very honestly, you cannot really see uh, big results. So it takes its time. Uh, consistency is very important. As I was saying, you have to be consistent. You have to be consistent with the frequency and with the type of content. You cannot be random, neither in, neither in the, the frequency of the posts nor in the content that you are actually searching, you are actually posting. Why? Because people actually follow you on Twitter or like you on Facebook because you have certain things that are of interest to them, okay? For instance, if you are a cinema or a movie theater, okay, you have to post about movies. You cannot, or about artists or about actors, but you cannot go and post about medicine because it has nothing to do with your, your industry. So this is why you need to be consistent. Spread out time spent on social media. I have to tell you, okay, being an owner of a social media company, uh, I have to tell you that you have to have time for social media. You cannot say that I will do social media in my free time. First, as business owners, you should know that you have no free time, okay? So social media has, has to become part of your daily, of your, of your lifestyle and of your daily job. Spend at least maybe one hour okay, or two hours or even three hours per day on social media because this is where things are happening and you have to be where your people, where people are. Know those who you, those you want to follow, 
and so so this is this is this is more related to Twitter because on Twitter actually you cannot control your followers. You can control them more or less by using the right hashtags, by using the right interests, and so on and so forth. Because then people who are interested in your news will follow you. But also you have to you have to know who to follow, and this is very important. Reply to re reply or share posts. So this is very important. Whenever somebody talks about you, you have to reply. Do not leave any comment unattended, and this is very important because then people will think that you are indifferent to whatever it is that they're saying. Okay. Keep content relevant and engaging. Do not post and keep content mostly up to date. Do not post content that's dated two years ago. It doesn't make any, it, it has no value, okay? You have to know that on social media, okay, time spent on social media is very different from our time in real life, let's call it that way, because a day spent in real life is approximately about 20 minutes on social media. That's how social media is fast, okay? Uh, if you if if you have heard for the for the recent news, for instance, when Steve Jobs passed away, or when Whitney Houston or Michael Jackson passed away, we heard the news on social media because before it was official on any other media that has been there for hundreds of years. Okay, so you have to know that your content should be up to date. It should be relevant to whatever industry you are in, and it should be engaging enough so that people actually interact with you. Ask questions. Not all the time, not all of your content has to be questions, okay? So what did you do today? What book did you read today? Where did you eat today? No, that's a lot of questions, but every now and then engage people through asking questions and be available to discuss the answers. So don't ask a question and then whoever answers, you're not here anymore. No, if you want to ask a question, you should be expecting answers. And those answers are here because you asked the question. So have time to discuss the answers and to open debate, okay?